Good evening, my viewer. How has your week been? I believe that your week has been fine. How are your children doing? I want to know how they are keeping on, especially this time of COVID-19, now that you have them at home all the time. My name is Reverend Ruth Kayo, and this is the Virtuous Woman Show. There is a situation in our country that is not so good. Our teenage girls are great getting pregnant. Our teenage girls are becoming mothers. The young children that we held in our arms are be having children. What can we say to this? The babies that we once enjoyed are having babies. What exactly is going on with our teenage girls? Where have we gone wrong as parents? Why are our teenage girls falling into cheap sex? And how can we help our teenage girls? Together with me this evening is a wonderful friend of mine that I've known for a very long time. Her name is Josephine Juguna, and I'm going to welcome her to say hello to us, and then we will continue from here. Karibu sana, Josephine. Thank you very much, uh, Reverend Ruth. Uh, my name, as you have been told, is Josephine Wanjirun Juguna. Uh, currently, I'm um, uh, a director of Liana Counseling and Mediation Center. I'm situated at Mache Plaza, first floor, room three. Um, I have been a youth officer in charge of training. I have been a teacher, a secondary school teacher. So the, what we are talking about today is something that I've been doing. I am a mother, I'm a grandmother, and I have teenagers in my house. Right now, as we know, the nation, the whole world, actually, not the nation, mm -hmm. is going through COVID-19 pandemic. Mm -hmm. yes. And there's a lot of uncertainties, especially to our young children. Mm -hmm. There are those that were supposed to be sitting for KCP. There are those that were supposed to be sitting for KCSE. And there's a lot of uncertainties. Mm -hmm. So which means their programs have been altered. Mm -hmm. Do you think that this has contributed to the number of teenage pregnancies that we are seeing rising up in our country. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Reverend. Mm. To think about the teenage uh, pregnancy, mm. and uh, maybe I would want just to say that this is a problem that has been with us for a long time. Okay. And uh, you will find that uh, this is a problem that has affected most homes, the nation, mm. and uh, Maybe with the COVID-19, mm -hmm. that is an issue that we need to think about. Okay. Uh, the program's authorization for the teenagers. Okay. It is something that requires an intervention. But maybe before we get even into that teenage pregnancy, mm -hmm. do we really understand this teenager who is getting pregnant? Mm -hmm. Because the, teenage, the teenager who is getting pregnant has very many other issues. Mm -hmm. This is a teenager who is growing up developing. Mm -hmm. This teenager is very adventurous. Okay. This teenager mm -hmm. has very many other issues about my growing up. Ah, I have pubic hair. The mm -hmm. boobs are coming out. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. they have a new walking style because they don't want. So this teenager is already going through so much. The brain a is developing. Yeah, a lot of changes mm -hmm. is developmental changes. Mm -hmm. The brain is working, is growing fast. Mm -hmm. And that's why you find at this time they are in school. They can study, they mm -hmm. can explore, mm -hmm. they are adventurous. Mm -hmm. So this is a youth who is already going through a lot of mental and physical issues. Mm -hmm. So when now it comes to pregnancy, mm -hmm. This is not just not another elephant, another uh, big issue. Mm -hmm. Because with the COVID-19, I wouldn't really want to say that the COVID-19 has accelerated uh, teenage pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Because you see, it's just uh, a few months. Yes. So even the ones that we are seeing on media mm -hmm. that are expecting, mm -hmm. definitely it's not from March. <laughs> maybe <laughs> it's be like <laughs> maybe right? December. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and those who are said to be going to the clinics mm -hmm. from my operation, mm -hmm. you'll find that for them to come and uh, seek for help, Ah, it's not just yesterday, I have it, I come. <laughs> no, yeah. they don't easily come mm -hmm. because it's not something like, yeah, I want to know what has happened. They are already in shock. a stupor, yeah. a shock. Mm -hmm. What is this new thing? Before I got used to my breasts, my 
yeah. something else Some, has come yeah. up. Mm -hmm. I had a waistline that everybody said was there. Now it is not there. So what is this? Mm -hmm. By the time they get used to that, mm -hmm. six months pregnant. Okay. So before we can even talk about they, they have gone to, to see the medics mm -hmm. over their situation, mm -hmm. the baby has arrived. It's the time the baby is arriving. Mm -hmm. So the issue of them attending the antenatal clinic, mm -hmm. that maybe only comes when the mother has discovered and the mothers also discover it. So we need to understand this teenage so that as we talk about the teenage pregnancy, we understand the kind of a person who is getting pregnant mm -hmm. or the kind of a person who is giving a baby yeah. to another teenage. Okay. Because even the teenage boys are also affected. You're right. They are in it. Mm. They are the people who spend a lot of time mm -hmm. with the teenage girls. You're right. So they are in it also. So mm -hmm. they also are affected in one or the other. Maybe the magnitude mm -hmm. may be a bit different. So for you to highlight that, that was very good for mm -hmm. us to be able to understand mm -hmm. a teenager. But what is it that some of them tell you? Like what are the major causes why they get into premarital sex mm -hmm. before time? You know, one of the characteristics of the, the teenager, which mm -hmm. is very important, and that's part of their developmental, uh, their, their, their development, is that it's an age of self-discovery. Mm -hmm. I am discovering me. Okay. Who am I? Yes, mm -hmm. I'm a girl. I am a boy. Yes, this is what I have. With that self-discovery, you discover about your sex. Mm -hmm. the, you, you are emotionally growing. Yeah. Ah, I don't mind a touch. <laughs> I, 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 you know, it's, yeah. that's the time they discover I need uh, friends mm -hmm. and friends of the opposite sex. I want to be close yeah, to them. Yeah, I want to be close to them. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes talking and sharing nothing, but I'm with the boys mm -hmm. talking and mm -hmm. sometimes not maybe even about sex, but mm -hmm. I want to be with the boys. Yeah. And that's why the COVID-19 comes in. Mm -hmm. You know what has happened mm -hmm. with the COVID-19 and the lockdown? Yeah. The teenagers cannot spend time with their friends. You're they are right. indoors. They are indoors. Mm -hmm. The teenagers are not in school, mm -hmm. so they are not busy. Yeah. The teenagers are spending time with their parents mm -hmm. and it's like, don't. TV all the time, yes. don't. Sleeping all the time, don't. Mm -hmm. So. They are discovering themselves mm -hmm. and the parent and the society is not helping them in the discovery. So I can't watch, I can't read, I, I mean, I can't sleep. Mm -hmm. What do I do? I have finished the house chores. Yeah. So what next? Mm -hmm. So I walk out at the gate to look at the people. You, you're just spending time <laughs> out there you're staring at nothing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they find themselves in a very awkward situation. Yeah. When all is said and done, mm -hmm. we can only talk about the probable reasons mm -hmm. why the teenagers would engage in sex. Be like, yeah. if I get you very well, it's because they are trying to discover themselves. The body is changing. They feel like, I am getting attracted to this, the, the, this boy that we were in Sunday school together or this boy that we've been in lower primary school together. All of a sudden, he looks so handsome. Yes. Or oh, this girl looks so beautiful. <laughs> yes, yes. And so that, with that, they begin to get close and they get into relationships. They begin to abuse their relationships. And what, let us think about this teenage girl that is, has gotten pregnant already. What are some of the psychological effects that a young teenage girl goes through? I know pregnancy comes with its own package mm -hmm. and its own, uh, like, you, you want this, you don't want this. It's something else. But mm -hmm. I'm trying to imagine a teenage girl mm -hmm. that is pregnant. Mm -hmm. What are some of the psychological effects that they go through and emotional effects? Knowing that mm -hmm. this boy that has made me pregnant, mm -hmm. Yeah, Mendeliana Shule. The maybe program yake ijakuwa altered, mm -hmm. like the way mine as mm -hmm. a girl has yeah. been altered. Mm -hmm. So what does this particular girl go through? Maybe even before we come to what they go through, mm -hmm. let's get into the probable reasons what that makes them get into premarital sex. Mm -hmm. You'll find that they have no education. Mm -hmm. Who taught them? Traditionally, 
we had the school as the homestead, mm -hmm. we had the hut as the school, mm -hmm. and we had the grandmothers, the aunties, the teachers. Oh, that's from to, yes. the day the child mm -hmm. knew to pronounce ah, yes, yes sit like this, mm -hmm. walk like this. Mm -hmm. This is the way we do it. Mm -hmm. When you are with the boys, don't you know yes. there was all that. There was preparation into the next stage, into right. the next stage. Mm -hmm. So you'll find that today we don't have that preparation. Yeah. We don't even talk about it. Mm -hmm. Even when our children ask yeah. us some of the questions, mm -hmm. like, now you, mm -hmm. who, who taught you to ask some Where of these questions? Why, why did you? Mm -hmm. So we, we do not have that training from the beginning. Yeah. I'm very excited about uh, the, the, the learning in the schools these days. Mm -hmm. I've been hearing these songs. These are my private parts. Oh, my yeah. private parts. And yes, they will touch. Yes, yes, Reverend, yes. if today I ask you to stand up and sing that song, you will not. Mm -hmm. You are shy. Yes. But they are singing. These <laughs> yes. are my private parts. Nobody should touch, touch them. them. So yeah. we begin from there. Yes. These are my private parts. Mm -hmm. As they move on, mm -hmm. we prepare them about these private parts. Mm -hmm. So nobody should touch them. Mm -hmm. And if somebody touches, what do you do? Mm -hmm. If somebody touches, this and the other happens. So that education is missing. It begins from the home, mm -hmm. it begins from the society, yes. it begins from the church, because yeah. like in Kenya, we say 80% of us are in the church. Yeah. So our children saw the church, the yeah. first thing they, they saw was the church. Mm -hmm. So what are we telling them? Is mm -hmm. there any education? Mm -hmm. Our environment, mm -hmm. where have we been brought up? Yeah. Who have we been with? Yes. The peers mm -hmm. have a lot of influence on them. They are the ones the great teachers of the teenagers mm -hmm. are the peers. Your friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is my environment about? Mm -hmm. My economic status, mm -hmm. my economic situation, mm -hmm. all these ones will lead. What is my body also telling me? Mm -hmm. I need a touch. Yes. So these are the probable reasons why the teenagers get into, into, into premarital sex. Yes. Without knowing that when I engage in it, mm -hmm. this will happen. These are the effects. They, they don't have the yes. effects. Yes. So that as we talk about maybe the, 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 the mental issues and the physical issues, mm -hmm. which are enormous. Mm -hmm. We have now been able to understand the circumstances. Yes. We have evil people around us mm -hmm. who are raping our teenagers, mm -hmm. who are molesting them yes. sexually. Yes. So you see, this teenager is exposed to so much mm -hmm. and nobody has prepared them. You're right. Don't talk to strangers. Mm -hmm. And when the stranger talks to you, please don't give them time. Yes, you must yes. get, take care. Do you have the time for that? Mm -hmm. When we see them with you, you, <laughs> the, this finger is very active. Yes, yes. Society. We condemn them. And, and the rest. And I like the way, the way you're putting it, that we condemn them. This yeah. finger is always mm. this, talking. Yeah. But let me tell you, do you think there's a generational gap? But, or there's a gap between the, the mothers and the daughters and the fathers and the sons. What, what, what can you say about mm. that? You have rightfully put it, mm -hmm. the gap is there, mm -hmm. and we talk of the generation gap. Mm -hmm. The old people, what was their generation? What did they, what was happening? The activities that were there, mm -hmm. the cultures that were there, the values yes. that were there. Mm -hmm. And then we have the teenage generation. Mm -hmm. What is their culture? Mm -hmm. What activities do they have? Yes. What is in, at their disposal, mm -hmm. at their exposure? Wow. So you'll find that that is the gap. Mm -hmm. And what happens when I find my teenage in that world is like these, these people of today, these people of today, these yes. people of today. So I'm the people of today. Mm -hmm. I'm, no, I, I'm not appreciated by my parents. I'm mm -hmm. not good. I'm not needed. So these people of today and then the, 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 yeah, the, yeah, the teenager yeah, yeah. is saying mm -hmm. these old people, yes. these old people. So I push you, mm -hmm. you push me. There is nowhere to meet. Mm -hmm. And it is time we all said these people of today, mm -hmm. young man, Young girl, mm -hmm. can I understand what is happening? Because mm -hmm. if there is something the teenagers appreciate mm -hmm. is being understood, they keep complaining. Nobody understands me. <laughs> and when they hang out with the boys, it's because he understands me. Mm -hmm. He is the only one I can tell how I feel. Yeah. My parents don't. Oh, Why? Yeah. Because the boys give them attention. Attention. Wow. Listening mm -hmm. is one very important point mm -hmm. that all of us, the society, the mm. parents, and everybody else mm. should be able to get. Wow. And as we continue, that's mm. a very important point to, to look at. Mm -hmm. So that even as we talk about the effects mm. on them, yeah. that listening becomes the savior. The savior. Yes. Wow. Do you listen to your teenager? Do you t spend time with them to get to understand what they go through? Mm. Are you the kind of the mother, the mother that says, you, 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 
and I'm on this side, they are on that side. Okay, we are going to take a short break. Then when we come back, our sister Josephine will tell us much more. She is so loaded with information and we want to learn from her as much as we can. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back after this. Keep tracking with us. Welcome back to the Virtuous Woman Show. If you're joining us for the first time, I'm seated here with a beautiful friend of mine. Her name is Josephine. And we are talking about